guys, this is Scott from Scott's Animal Adventures and today we will be looking at different foods you can feed your isopods, millipedes and fruit beetles. So let's jump into the video. So in here is where I keep all of my foods and all of my different um, feeding supplements for my isopods and for my cleanup crews. So you can see straight away I've got a few different types of fish um, food. So this is one that Porcelio species really love. It is the Better Food by Tetra. It's full of shrimp and krill and it's just absolutely brilliant. Um, you can see just here you can see over 48% crude protein. So they really like that. It's really good for them. They go and get like a pink stripe down their back when they eat it as well which is quite fun. And then a similar type of food in a pellet form for armadillidium species that are a bit less protein um, hungry. You can use the goldfish granules by Tetra. So these do have uh, a protein content of 32% but it's a lot more of vegetables and different vegetable proteins rather than the um, meat and um, animal proteins that come from the other food. So armadillidiums really enjoy having that lower protein content um, and a more vegetable based diet. Um, a good one that I also use occasionally is the King British bloodworm treats. So these are just dried bloodworms. Try and open it up without getting everywhere. So these are what you'd feed fish as a treat and they're exactly the same with ice pods. Don't feed it all the time but it's a nice thing to just add to their diet and it's really really good to give isopods a variety so then our final fish food um, is just a mix of outdoor sort of like fish pond pellets so these are just goldfish pellets and below the little smaller ones are for sturgeons so sturgeons will have a more carnivorous diet and they will also feed um, in a more um, protein rich way so it's good to have a bit of a variety and all of these foods would be um, not every feed but they would be sort of occasional you do really want to pad out your isopods with leaf litter um, fresh vegetables sometimes fruits and um, another one that's really good and really necessary for isopods and especially millipedes is rotting decaying white wood matter and you can get this shredded, you can get it from a number of different places. I've mentioned before, I get most of my stuff from Terra Nova. Um, sorry, that's the old name, Shropshire Exotics is the, the new name. And uh, really, really good stuff. So, here we have some pouches from Micro Exotics. Um, I did have four of these pouches, but I've used a couple up. But we've got all the items. So, here is the website for these guys absolutely brilliant Adam is just class you know really really good service so here you've got bee pollen and bee pollen is really really beneficial it's packed full of vitamins and goodness and armadillidium and porcelio species um, will both take this and both really enjoy it they kind of grab it and run when I put it in so it's really fun um, a few more things um, another one from Terra Nova Another one from Micro Exotics is the dried fish. So here we have dried fish and I believe these are like small sardine type fish. But they're really good to add to Porcello species and they will give another protein hit. So all of these foods, you wouldn't put them all in at once, you would kind of rotate them. Um, and that's the key. So all of your dried goods, all of your different proteins and fish and shrimp you won't put it all in and just give them like a pile of food this will be like every few days or so you just rotate through to the next type of food and you give them a real variety that way so here we've got some from Shropshire Exotics Terra Nova is their old company um, they change name purely and simply because Shropshire Exotics is easier to find um, and if you want to talk to anyone on Facebook, Nick, Rich Nick Richards is your guy. Um, I do apologise for the slips of the tongue. I don't know what's going on with me today. Um, so we've got Terra Nova Customs and Exotics Isopod Fuel. 
So on the website now, I believe it's called um, Premium Isopod Chow or Premium Isopod Fuel. And this is really good for your Porcello species, really good for um, sort of like more protein hungry isopods. And inside is just like a powder, comes in a nice sealed pouch. The new ones are 200 grams, um, so you do get a lot more for your money. And they are just mylar sealed bags. Um, so you've got bug grub as well. This will be good for any feeders, any um, insects that won't want as much protein. So really good for your armadillidiums. And then moving on, there's quite a lot in here to be fair. Um, so you've got the springtail food from them as well. Um, and like I say, this is Shropshire Exotics now, not Terra Nova. That's why I keep on messing up with the, uh, the name. So this is a, a 50 gram pouch and it's really good for getting your springtails feeding and just exploding. It's full of different nutrients and ingredients, but um, I can't really go into what's inside it. I don't really know. I have been told that there is some biological matter in there. Um, there's mainly um, like a mix of different uh, vitamins, different ingredients such as um, I would assume sort of algae and stuff like that. It's really good stuff um, and you can get that from Nick. Uh, moving on, you've got your calcium powder. I've got a few different um, bags and sources of calcium now. So this is how your calcium will come from Shropshire Exotics and it's really good stuff, um, really pure. So that's just to give the exoskeletons a bit of a boost. And along the lines of that as well, I have cut all here that I break down and put into the enclosure. And I've also started reusing eggshells now as well. So I will break down the eggshell into a powder and place in with my isopods. And finally, you've got another springtail food here. Um, this one is made by ProRep and it is essentially um, just a yeast so it's inactive yeast and this will be really good stuff if you just want something simple um, no nonsense this mixed with the uh, springtail food from Shropshire Exotics makes for a really good culture and it is really really worth doing you definitely want to give supplemental foods to your isopods and to your feeders um, and especially like your millipedes and your beetles and stuff you really want to get them the best foods that you can so if I just line these up and try and get a, a more complete shot so you can see just how many different things I've got um, while I talk to you about the fruits and veg that you can prepare and give to your isopods so the main thing for isopods is you don't want to give them anything with too much of a sugar content um, they will eat it but it will go moldy and rot easier um, you will also find that if you buy anything um, from a supermarket or from like a, a shop you do want to make sure that you are washing the food peeling it whatever you need to do to make sure there's no pesticides or anything on the food really good foods for isopods would be carrot um, courgette in america it's called zucchini and um, finally you can add a little bit of uh, like cucumber for moisture but just remember those juicy fruits and and wetter vegetables they will degrade and they will rot quicker so you need to keep on top of that thanks very much guys let me know if you like the video leave a comment a like and if you really want to see more you can subscribe this has been scott from scott's animal adventures and thanks for watching